Hello friends, hope all you are fine and doing well. Welcome to our channel SRHVAC. In today's video, we are going to see how to read the HVAC drawing or you can say how to read the VRV or VRF drawing or how to read the ductable drawing. We will cover all the three topics in this video. Friend, those who have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe so you never miss an industrial insight tips and tutorials. Friends, in this video, I will show you the secret to see the professional looking of heating, ventilation and air condition drawing quickly and efficiently. Whether you are a seasonal HVA technician or you just want to execute a project of HVCA or you have just joined the field of HVCA. This is the perfect tutorial for anyone who is looking to improve their drawing skill and take the work to the next level from understanding the basics of HV system to the advanced drawing technique we will cover all so if you want to learn how to see the accurate and detailed HV drawing in no time be sure watch the video until the end so friends so friends let's start our video on how to read the HV AC drawing basically there are four parties involved in the HV CA project first will be the client who is the owner second will be the architect who has drawn all the civil structure drawings okay then the third will be our end MEP consultant either he will do its own or he will pass over to the contractor who will execute the HVCA project it may take up the VRV only he may given only the table or maybe the fresh air or exhaust air okay or maybe the single DX unit he has to involve we will see all the these three first in the drawing we will see what are the equipment there will be a HVAC legend okay you can see the legend this is the green box this is saying supply air duct okay the next one is 6 mm nitrile insulation okay this will cover the our ducting this is the acoustic insulation the honeycomb one this will in the mouthpiece of our ductable unit so that the sound and vibration can be minimized this is the supply air diffuser from air it will supply the air okay return air diffuser it will intake the return air this is the four way cassette unit this is the indoor unit this is the ductable unit okay the blue color this is the access door okay or you can say the trap door this is the fresh air duct this is the fresh air auxiliary fan this is the vrv outdoor unit this is the y joint Okay, so that we can join the copper piping. This is the system one refinet piping. Okay, this is and this is the second one. This is the drain pipe in the hatching blue color. So, friend, these are the some of the basic equipment that are being installed here in this project. First, we will see the VR from where it is. We will see from the outdoor unit the refinet pipe connected to the outdoor unit in the terrace level so the outdoor unit is located on the terrace level you can see the pipe size 41.3 and 19.1 okay so we will see from the start from where it is starting from here the last one is you can see in the cashier counter it is zq this means this is the 0.6 tr and it is 2 by 2 unit it is the code for daikin okay this is the fx 63 this means it is 2 tr 4 way cassette unit you can see it is located in the waiting area this is connected with the help of 22 t these are all the pipe refnet okay you can see and this here it is also connected in the various rooms this is the assistant manager room all the rooms okay these are the different cassette unit you can see here 2 by 2 this is also 2 by 2 1 tr okay this is all 2 by 2 unit it is connected with the help of copper piping and refnet okay i will show you the ref this is the refnet okay this is the refnet joint we will join here and here for connecting them okay and we will do anchor fastener for 1 to 1.5 meter with the help of this we will going to hang these pipes you can see the size 15.9 and 9.5 3 by 8 and 5 by 8 okay these are all 20 ci so it is 40 ci this the t will be 22 t or you can say the y joint okay this is the one circuit okay now we will see the other this is the circuit it is connected up to here okay fx 80 means 2.6 okay this is the 8 tr ductable unit this is also connected with the help of copper piping okay and you can see the refinet size is 72 it is uh, 8 means it will 250 plus 80 it is 330 so it is the refinet size is 72 
friend we have to check on our own whether there is anything missing dimension or any mistake so we have to point out to the MEP consultant and our architect so that they can modify and approve it so this is the our VRV system okay friends we will see one ductable unit also so we will take up this 8 TR ductable unit the die kit okay you can see 440 and 1090 the CFM will be 82825 CFM okay and the duct size is taken 900 into 300 as ADs so it is abbreviation for supply air duct this is a short form the abbreviation is supply air duct friend you should know what is said red written air duct it will be okay friends this is the supply air diffuser then this is the written air diffuser in the front of the ductable unit we will have a canvas so that no vibration is transferred then it will be acoustic insulation this is the ducting in the front you will have acoustic insulator and rest it will be the thermal insulation okay so you can see this is the supply air duct this is the 470 cfm the duct size is 450 into 150 it is supply air duct there are six numbers of supply air diffuser okay this is the in this ducting six supply air diffuser is taken okay you can as the duct goes the air is flown out and the duct size is reduced okay and the last point is this one okay the duct size is 450 into 150 this is supply air duct and this is 470 cfm cubic feet per minute okay this duct is hanged with the help of our c channel and threaded rod i will show you one duct also you can see the duct this is covered with the thermal insulation okay it is hanged with the help of threaded rod and c channel okay friends this is how ducting is been placed okay you can say this is written air duct uh, diffuser sorry this is the return air diffuser this is supply this is supply this is supply okay see one more duct is there this is also of 8 tr unit okay as the duct goes on it has been reduced the size as the air is been passed okay i hope you have cleared this is the ductable unit and this is the ducting these are all the basic terms that are being used in hvac drawings you should familiar all of them okay friends so now we are going to see there will be a fresh air see there is a fresh air this is the axial fan which is providing fresh air and you can see fresh air duct of dia 100 the fad means fresh air duct okay so it is supplying to each room you can see each room and the in the hvcl agent also you can see this is the fresh air okay auxiliary fan in all the rooms it is supplying fresh air okay so friend this is uh, fresh air deck now we are going to see the, our exhaust air okay so you can see from here this is open to sky you can see this is open to sky okay and this is connected with the fan and the CFM is 650 CFM EAD this term also you should know this is exhaust air duct okay the CFM is 650 it is coming from the terrace level okay and it is going to all the our wash area okay as well as urinal okay this is giving 50 CFM this is 100 CFM this is again 50 CFM okay and this is also 50 50 okay this is the gen side this is the ladies side okay this is all our our exhaust air duct okay ead 150 by 100 okay friends this is exhaust air duct so this uh, you can see this is the inverter this is not connected to the vrv this is 1.5 split invert type 410 is the gas non vrv unit okay there are two already placed in this room and one is still not approved we have to get the approved before doing this is the server room of 117 square feet this is the dx unit okay here also they have placed in the electric room one non vrv 1.5 tr split unit okay 
So friend, if we have to take the approval first, we do not have to place this or do the copper wiring or wiring for this one. We have to first take from the approval from the MEP consultant or our architect or our client. After getting the approval, we should do it. Okay. Friend, we have, before doing the pipe, we have to inspect all the areas, whether it is free or any fire line or something is coming. So, so that our execution goes smoothly. We have to coordinate with the all the other contractor also. You can see the, the copper piping. I will show you one picture of copper piping also. See, this is the copper piping we have done. This is the, our unit. We have done it. You can see we have hanged with the help of threaded dot 8 mm and C channel. Okay, and we have covered this Y joint also. You can see. Okay, this is how we hang the our copper pipes and machines. Okay. Friends, I hope you have cleared the basics of HVCR drawing and how to read the HVCR drawing. So friend, there is a lot more content coming up on your way. If you like my video, subscribe, like, comment. Okay, see you in the next one.